in 1956, on a shoestring budget and with only seven full-time workers, the first aquarium in Canada opened its doors. Little did they know the ripple effect that this little not-for-profit aquarium from Vancouver would have over the next 60 years. In its first year, it had over 340,000 visitors, which was almost the entire population of Vancouver at the time. It inspired a whole generation of Canadians with a simple mission, connect people with aquatic life and they will start to care about the ocean. The Vancouver Aquarium Marine Science Centre extended its mission to actively conserving aquatic life with the Marine Mammal Rescue Centre. Over the decades, thousands of marine mammals have been rescued and released back into the wild, helping to protect the raw nature of British Columbia that locals and visitors love so dearly. In today's more enlightened world, it's hard to imagine that killer whales were once so badly misunderstood and feared that they were shot and killed on sight. But sadly, less than 60 years ago, that was the world that we lived in. So when the Vancouver Aquarium was the first in the world to study and display a killer whale, they forever changed the whole perception of the ocean's top predator. Today, the global love affair with killer whales is thriving, and we know them to be highly intelligent, with complex communication skills and rich social lives. An education that would not have been possible without that first killer whale. Following through on their mandate of aquatic education, they become the first aquarium in North America to have year-round naturalists. A rich tradition of scientific research begins, and they become the first aquarium to have a full-time resident scientist, Dr. Jeff Marliev, this would eventually lead to many more firsts in fish breeding and also help to conserve local black rockfish populations. The first episode of Danger Bay hits the CBC airwaves. Filmed at the Vancouver Aquarium, it inspires many young Canadians to pursue careers in marine science and ocean conservation. The aquarium assists in the creation of Whitecliff Marine Park, Canada's first no-take marine protected area. The Aquavan hits the road, taking the mission to connect people to the oceans, to the far corners of the province and beyond. An initiative first started by a handful of Vancouver Aquarium employees, the Great Canadian Shoreline Cleanup has since grown into the largest conservation-based cleanup program in Canada. Today, nearly 60,000 people across Canada participate every year. The original study of killer whales at the Vancouver Aquarium directly led to the study of the local wild populations, which is now, thanks to Dr. Lance Barrett-Leonard, the longest running and most comprehensive study of any marine mammal population in history. Years of research has led directly to two more firsts. In 1996, the Vancouver Aquarium became the first in the world to commit to never again capture a wild whale or dolphin. And in 2002, the first aquarium ever to successfully reintroduce a rescued killer whale back into her pod. That success story continues to unfold, and Springer has recently been spotted with a calf of her own. OceanWise, a sustainable seafood conservation program, is launched. Today, OceanWise is a nationally recognized symbol, with thousands of partner locations across Canada, and now reaches a global audience with its first app. Dr. Valeria Vergara joins the team as a research associate. While working with the resident whales at the Vancouver Aquarium, she becomes the first in the world to record and classify beluga vocalizations, including her discovery of contact calls, a unique audio signature between mother and calf. She has since used that knowledge to study belugas in the Arctic and in the struggle to help save the endangered belugas of the St. Lawrence Estuary. As concerns about plastic and marine debris escalate, the Vancouver Aquarium's Dr. Martin Helena responds with a unique sea lion rescue team, performing a darting and disentanglement protocol that is the first of its kind in the world. Over the years, the Vancouver Aquarium has been as dynamic and inspired by nature as a city it calls home. But even after 60 years, there's no time to stop and celebrate. The challenges that face our world today are more extreme than ever and the aquarium's role as a guardian of the ocean has never been more critical. Today, over 1,500 staff and volunteers continue to pursue the ideals that were first set forth by that little aquarium in 1956, but with a much bigger mission for the future, to help protect our oceans and 
our planet.